Hello everybody, today we're going to show how to make coins with the sweet berries with the mud pack, create above and beyond. These are all the things that you're going to be needing. Um, and in here we have a material list. You can pause them as I go through. items as um, they didn't get in the material list because they're in the ground. So how the farm works is that we have a uh, sweet berry farm and uh, how is how that is made is just by some mechanical harvesters and um, four of them and then we have a chest to collect all the items <clears throat> and then uh, we have a uh, portable interface that's gonna uh, transfer the items and we're gonna do this on about 10 layers and we're connect connecting all these encased blocks um, all these linear chassis um, and uh, we're connecting them all to the other layers so we only need um, one of these mechanical bearings um, so this farm doesn't get any more complicated so up here we have a windmill bearing that's um, rotating all this this way a white sail um, that's making power to this contraption um, and the reason why I, uh, I got so much is because of the speed the more of you got the faster it is but if you want to save some materials you can just use uh, f um, at least eight that's what the requirements is also if you don't do have also if you don't want to have this design that that I have um, erase all the uh, spruce wood blocks and all the logs and trapdoors. So when the sweet berries gets collected, it gets pushed out of this andesite funnel into this andesite funnel. And then we have uh, a trade station where all the sweet berries get in. And then we have a pres um, farming profession um, that's gonna uh, make all the sweet berries into money. And as you can see here, it has generated a lot of money. After the sweet berries have turned into coins, it gets put out here um, uh, with a brass funnel with the coin filter so nothing else gets put out here. So for this trade station to work, we need some power and we get this power for, from our tree farm. So here we have a tree farm and it's just 4 saws with 5 deployers and the deployers are deploying saplings and it has um, the filter sapling on each one of them so it doesn't pick anything else up and then again we have a storage interface um, that's gonna transfer all the wood over to this thing and then we have a chest that's gonna um, store all the items and then we have a windmill bearing that's moving all these white sails the reason that i don't have that much of these white sails here is because that i want this to go slow so it doesn't overclock the sterling dynamo which is the one that makes all the power and over here we have another collecting system with a storage interface and a brass funnel with a filter and the filter has a apple and a stick so all apples and sticks get put in this chest and um, this is one I have put manually in and as you can see we get almost two stacks of apples and a lot of stacks of sticks and over here we have a brass funnel with the filter and oak lock so the only thing that can go through is oak locks and then we have a brass tunnel that's gonna distribute all the items in a round robin pattern and uh, what the round robin pattern does is that it first shoots out to um, one of the builds, then the other, and then the third. So um, it doesn't get split, it takes turns. When the brass tunnel doesn't choose the external dynamo, it um, chooses the other builds that's gonna go to this hopper and go into the chest where we get and um, it's basically also a log farm and as you can see we get a lot of leftover logs if you want to see me play a create above and beyond i have a twitch channel so you can uh, follow me over there if you want to see um, more create above and beyond thank you so much for watching to the end of this video and i'll see you in one of my next videos goodbye